Casper and your vest has done this before. Mm. More than once. Doing mm. a concert in mm. a stadium and actually filling it up. Even uh, Lucky Dube did it. Here in Uganda? In Nambole. In Nambole. Not once. Yes. Twice. Really? And filled it to capacity. Well, there is another musician who wants to do that and really? that's... No. Bad Bobby Wine. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, he... <laughs> One, he actually has a concert coming up yeah. on the 20th of October. Dates have been set. Do you honestly think this concert will take place? Tickets are 10,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. Entrance, yeah. someone said it's 7 a.m. I don't know how true <laughs> that is. <laughs> Entrance, 7 a.m. I mean, for the traffic inflow, for yeah. people to move in and, you know, get seated mm. on time. Mm. The 20th is a Saturday, so I guess, you know, people can start moving in at... Uh, Entrance is 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that concert by midday will be done. Will be full. Uh, will no, be for people, done. For people get in party and then later it comes and uh, performs. I know that you have to get a couple of permissions mm. to do a concert from NEMA, from KCCA, if you're within the KCCA area, um, police permission. And I'm hoping that he remembers to follow all these steps. I'm, I'm sure he's a, he's, I mean, he's a politician. Yes. Uh, he's a musician. Yes. Uh, he's a... An activist, yeah, and a businessman, so. and a reasonable man. But the irony about this concert is yes. at the entrance. Yes, you know, like uh, these metal detectors, uh -huh. they won't be t uh, checking for for, for for guns. What will they, they won't be checking, checking for sharp piercing instruments. They won't be checking for pangas. They'll be checking for stones. <laughs> <laughs>